Welcome back to my channel. I have no idea when or if this video is going to be put up because I have like three videos already filmed from months ago that I have not had time to edit. So who knows if this will be published or not, but I just got off of work at 11. I got home around 11.30. It is now 12.56 a.m. and I have ramen and Trader Joe's gyoza here <laughs> to eat because I'm hungry. And today has been a really long whirlwind of a day and I want to talk about it <laughs> some more because I've been talking about what a day I've been having. but. Yeah, I want to talk about it and then maybe eat my food. I don't know. It's like really hot right now, so I will have time to talk about stuff while I wait for it to simmer down a little. But basically, there's like a lot going on in my life right now, all kind of culminating in the COVID-19 frenzy that is happening in this country right now. Um, I apologize in advance for James's interruptions. He is being really crazy and like active tonight. I don't know why, um, but yeah, he's freaking. So my university just announced just announced tonight that um, they would be moving all classes on as many classes as they can online, starting next week until the end of the school year, essentially. Um, and I don't think it's fully s like sat in with me. So my school works on quarter systems, which is really trimester <laughs> systems because no one takes classes in the summer. Well, not no one, but like not a lot of people do if you don't have to. Um, so I have a fall, winter, and spring quarter, and we're just ending our winter quarter. And then we have spring break, and then we have spring quarter. And so basically all of spring quarter, as far as I know right now, um, will be online, which is crazy. And I might not be working because I work for one of my school's libraries and I don't know if it will be open, uh, if and how long it will be, like if the hours will change, if it will be open for the rest of the school year. And then the other thing that is on a lot of people's minds in their schools that are getting shut down is if they're living in dorms, they're basically being completely displaced and with such short notice. Um, at this point, there is about a week until spring break starts. And then, so basically that's two weeks that the university is giving people that are living in dorm dorms currently to vacate the premises and find somewhere else to live for the next several months. Um, so that's pretty distressing. And I'm thankful that I also don't have to worry about that because I do have my own place, but I'm, I know plenty of people that are living on the dorms currently, so that's definitely really concerning and scary. Um, so backtracking, I was already um, basically having an anxiety attack, anxiety moment earlier today, actually right as I was getting into work, before the email came out about the um, online of school um, because of finals, because this, um, we're in finals right now and I've been so stressed out. Basically, the last couple of days, back to even more, I have been waking up at like 6 a.m. wide awake for no reason. There's no precedent for this. My alarm goes off at 10. <laughs> like I don't have, I have no idea why I've been waking up like this. Um, and so it's been really throwing off my sleeping schedule. 
Um, and today I did something which I haven't done for a very long time, um, and that's dog walking. So I may have talked about it on my channel before, but uh, I used to be a professional dog walker. I say professional with air quotes because I wasn't really making that much because I, I, I wasn't um, trying to support myself as like as my livelihood uh, while working with a dog. I was just kind of making spare money. Um, but I used to dog walk really regularly using WAG, which is an app. I call it Uber for dogs. Um, and I like updated my app the other day. Like I've been keeping it updated even though I haven't walked a dog in like months. Um, probably since the summer of last year, yeah. Um, but I walked a dog this morning at like 8 a.m. <laughs> um, because I was wide awake and it would get me out of bed. And so I did that and then I came back home and I, <laughs> uh, I think I dawdled around for a little bit, but then I went back to sleep and barely woke up in time to get to my class. <laughs> It was just really getting to me um, today how much, how little time I have to get all this stuff done that I was trying to get done. Um, mainly I was concerned about my in-class um, essay question exam for my Russian history class that I have really not been doing the reading for and am highly unprepared for. Um, and that was going to be this coming Monday. And then I also have to write an essay that's technically due tomorrow at midnight. And for the same class, make a visual project with a five page kind of reflection slash analysis paper to go along with it. So it's like three big things for one class to do in the span of like five days. Um, I was really stressed out about that because um, like earlier today when I was like being really stressed out about this, I had no idea what I was writing that first paper, the one that's secondly due today. Um, I have no idea what I was going to write that about. Um, and at work I kind of got a little bit of an idea, but I still barely started it. Um, but once I got this news about the university basically closing, it just really makes you not care about anything anymore because it's like, what's the point? I don't know. We're all just being kind of like pushed around like the wind. It, all, it has reduced my stress, but also increased my stress in new ways. So going back in time a little bit more, um, a few days ago, my best friend from home texted me saying, hey, there's this like conference thing that I want to go to. Um, but I'm too scared to go alone. You should fly out to Philly to see me and we can go together. Um, so I looked up flights to Philly and I happened to find two extraordinarily cheap ones. I think it must have been like error flights or whatever. Um, so I basically bought right then and there $100 round trip, t trip to um, Philly at the like last latter half of my spring break and then basically two days after that I my university is closing and spring break is being extended for forever for universities across the nation and at the time when I was making when I was buying these plane tickets I hadn't even really thought about how um, more dangerous I guess Air, airports and airplanes are right now. It's just really confusing and everything thing seems to be up in the air. Um, and now I'm just really nervous about going to the airport. I'm worried about my flights being canceled or not. Um, it really bothers me like how much ridiculous stuff is sold out. Like toilet paper, giant things of toilet paper and tissue paper. Like, unless you're actively sick, which I know for a fact that there's not this many people actively sick needing these supplies. Like, it's just so idiotic to just drastically 
squash your community of resources because you're scared for your own self. Um, but anyway, that's a tangent. So I'm worried about that flight. And I was already outside of coronavirus, so I was already anxious about the flight because it's the first time that I bought plane tickets by myself. Um, because my dad is really like into his sky miles, he has always booked my plane tickets. Not that I like fly around all the time. <laughs> I've really only flown like um, to and from Minneapolis. Uh, been to Cal California a few times to visit relatives. Um, but yeah, I don't like fly much. So this is already kind of big deal for me. And then now I'm thinking about the dangers of the coronavirus and I'm thinking about all of this when I should be thinking about my finals. I'm just nervous. And then kind of going back in time even further, weeks ago, or I guess a month ago, basically, I last minute applied to a study abroad program to Mexico. It's a short term program where I would be going to Mexico in June for about like less than two weeks. Um, and I would take a class for it this coming spring quarter. But now it's looking like that trip will probably be canceled, um, which is really, really disappointing because I was so excited about this. Because before a month ago, I kind of resigned myself to the fact that I wouldn't be able to study abroad in my undergraduate or college career, really. Um, and I was really sad about that. And then I got this um, last minute opportunity and I got the trip 50% off um, because I'm a first generation student. And it was gonna be really cool. Um, and I probably won't be able to do it. And I'll have to rework my schedule for next quarter then because um, I was planning on taking that as like one of my four classes that I take each quarter. So that's really disappointing. The other thing, which is kind of minor, that I'm missing out on is my last class for my creative writing class for sure tomorrow and perhaps my English class that I have three things to do for um, my other English class. Um, because I know my creative writing professor emailed me already saying that the class would be canceled. Um, and that's our last class of the quarter. And for the creative writing class, I skipped the last class um, because I did not have time to do the reading. And I had only missed one class this quarter. So I figured, let me just sleep in or get work done. And of course I didn't get work done, but now this class is canceled, so I don't really get the closure that I wanted for that because I, I like to kind of have some closure for my classes. So, yeah. The, and then another thing is voting, which I still haven't done. Um, I registered to vote in Illinois and um, there's still quite some time until the um, not quite some time really, it's like, there's still about like six days until the like general election day, but I wanted to do an early voting so that I could go somewhere that's more convenient than my um, official voting place. And I haven't even had time to write, like research candidates and stuff for things other than the presidential election, of course. Um, so, and I've never voted before. This is my first time being eligible for a general election. And so that's stressful on top of this. And it's just despicable how much of a non-democracy that this country is. But that's another story. I don't know. And you can see how all of these things are connected. Like that's connected to the coronavirus and to education, of course. Um, intuition and things, but yeah, it's just kind of a scary world to live in right now. And despite that, I 
and this is why I kind of experience a whirlwind of emotions. I talked a lot with my coworker today um, because it was like a weird day, um, weird shift, and there was nobody in the library, and um, we just kind of felt like nothing mattered anymore. So we were talking a lot about a lot of different things, and I just felt a lot of love for her and for my coworkers, for my friends, and for the life that I have. And so I'm caught in this like in-between place of like just total panic and worrying about everything like personally and globally and then this like beautiful tenderness for like the people that I'm surrounded with and I'm really grateful for everybody even though there's things that I wish I had in my life um and people I wish I were closer with but I'm really thankful to have these people in my life because they're really awesome. Nope. Um, but I guess that's kind of just my life update for right now. Uh, I'm gonna, I guess, try to keep this shorter than usual. Usually when I make rambly life update videos, they get very, very long, so. But thank you for watching if you did. Um, bye.